Alright, 220. Ash handling equipment. As ash typically remo requires removal of the several um, collection with a point to boiler as ash removed directly from the furniture stroke of the term and bolt and bottom ash may be hard of the um, agrilamator ag clinkers. Ash is removed the various dust collection points of the term of fly ash. The tends to fly light, fluffy, relatively free flowing, all flash ash generally handled together to dispose of the permitted landfill, especially on a salt and small system, depending on the individual circumstances, it made it desirable to segregate the bottom and fly ash handled with a separate layer that can do it. This is going to be an advantage in the instance for the commercial market. Uh, existed one of the products fly ash may be used with the manufactured concrete bottom ash may be used in winter road treatment. Medium sized large um, plants generally employ a complete ash disposal. Systems with small plants using um, simpler, less automatic equipment, the three general type of the ash handling system equipment are pneumatically, hydraulic, and mechanically. Combination of these systems, three systems are used. The um, pneumatic ash handling figure 3239 uh, illustrates the vacuum type of the pneumatic ash handling system, and those illustrates the vacuum created with the same exhauster. However, the motor driven the vacuum parts all, pumps also available to intake the hub, or is provided a desirable location emitted by the ash system. One of the end of the ash conveying line to open the suction created with the exhaust ho 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 exhauster causing rapid the flow of the air from the, from the line dry ash admitted with the primary and secondary ash received, which are equipped with a counter balance um, dr door drop the time limited permitted um, period of operation short cycle the permitted dumping of the ash of them into the silo the system goes into the operation negative pressure to receive the close of the seals drop doors and end of the, each of the cycle the door swings to open the pressure equal life of the drop ash and would into the side blow silo below. Um, the air washer condensing the income of the seam with exhaust washing out of the dust and du and um, dust and particles entrained and trained and trained in the air system. Clean air thus exhausting into the atmosphere. The mixture of the water dust ma passes the sump where the dust settles within the water that draws off the pump. It's necessary to clean the sump periodically to prevent clogging of the sewer. Exhausting sil silence are available for the system where it is uh, when where desired and unloader and unusually provide consistent and clad revolving dr drum container warring spray with wet ashes so they discharge for the bottom silo vacuum systems are limited to the difference whether they can move as effectively pressure pre pressure pressurized pump pneumatic system or combination vacuum pressure system available to the conveying distance have become the greater pneumatically system are most commonly used the conveying fly ash but are always occasional I'll use the bottom ash as small system Hydraulic ash handling. Figure 240 illustrates the hydraulic ash handling with the pressure of the velocity system in which the um, out, uh, out of innings force of the provided with the series of high pressure water jets that when the system operates for the ash to take up with the ash jump hopper beneath the boiler sprays water jets to flush the material out, out of the hopper through the rigid retains the large clinker for the breaking. Some systems are equipped with the clinker grinders. The ash is then jetted through the abrasion, um, abrasion resistant um, sluices, gates of the sump pump, and fit, pit or fill. The Fly ashes, dust is sprayed mechanically from the dust hopper to water jet exhausters, passed through an air separated with the air collected with the vent of the atmosphere. Finally, the mixture of the fly ash, dust, and water discharged through the um, sluice gate, gate with some pit with the landfill hydraulic system is normally used at the bottom of the ash conveying the usually infrequently new. All right, this shows your central figure, perfect and continuous um, type of bucket um, feeders, uh, elevators. Notice this one's from the bottom, this one's in the middle, and this one's continuous. Um, this is a Wang Larry. It's uh, basically, yeah. Uh, Alright, the pneumatic ash handling system. Your sifting hopper dust valve, the air com, um, conve conveyor pipeline, racket outdoors, anvil plate, ink intake, intake tea, dust shield, exhauster, vacuum breaker, silencer, wear, wear back, secondary collector vent, storage bin, um, primary collector bag filter. Or your hydraulic ash handling s system. Um, fly ash hoppers, bottom ash hopper, ash gates, um, sluice way, head nozzle, sluice nozzles, fed, feed nozzle, unloader, wet, wet, wet storage sump, bottom ash overflow, water supply, hydraulic vacuum producer, fly ash, dry storage silo, fly ash. Insulation due to environmental water usage, water usage relation to mechanical ash handling drag screw bucket of the conveyors can be used to move the ash from the boiler ash bins to storage bin silos containers. Mechanically systems are used primarily small stock or fire bar boilers may be utilized for either bottom of the ash or fly ash. 221. 
Oil firing equipment. Oil has a number of advantages over the coal when used to generate steam or hot water. The cost of the fuel handling is less lower, less labor and required for the operation made with less lower, less storage or space required for the initial cost of the oil system lower than high efficiencies are possible. The additional oil does not normally deteriorate in storage. It cleans, it's a clean burning fuel and easily to control. A disadvantage of the oil is greater danger of the explosion, which leads to more elaborate flame safety controls and costs, in which two or three are higher than the coal and heating the value of the base is referred to paragraph 1B. 1.4B and 1.8 with a more detailed discussion fuel oil in the combustion process at table 1.3 would represent the physical properties of common grades of the fuel oil. The operator should be familiar with the fundamental principle of combustion and make these concentrated of the fuel valve. Valuable fuel. Type of oil atomizers. Burn over the central heating of the plant and utilize three types of atomizer. Atomizer yielding steam of the air, pressurizer, animator, atomizer, atomizers, and rotary cup atomizers. Purpose of atomiza atomization is breaking through the fuel to fine particles readily mixed with the combustion air of the fuel, then burns the clean hot flame, the bearing of the vaporized oxidized resulting combustion before cracking tight. It place in pressurizing atom atomizer burner of the pit. Finest spray of increasing the pressure, increases the viscosity lower, but when number six oil is burned, pulsating flame may result in the viscosity reducing the point where the preheat temperature sends to the vapor, vapors of fuel. The burner manufacturer should recommend a proper viscosity range at which the operator the proper reheating oil will be discussed in paragraph 317. One fluid atomizers use the stream of the air to break the, in the, the fuel into the fine mist. Steam atomizers operate by mixing the oil and steam inside the atomizer under pressure. The steam and the oil mixture leave the tip of the steam and some rapidly expands, breaking the oil into small droplets. Begin with the combustion process. Figure two for already one illustrates the steam atomizer. Steam is supplied with the atomizer pressuring between zero, 10 psi, 10 20 psi above the oil pressure. Under normal conditions, steam atomizer use the approximate. The one tenth of the pound per um of steam atomizer with one pound of oil, the automa amounts of two third to one percent of the boiler steam out in some modernization use as little as uh, three tenths of a pound, three hundredths of a pound with the steam, while other older designs would use compressed air must maybe use in place with the steam with atomizing oil. Air atomizers is usually energy Use energy developed in the air compressor to replace energy with the steam generated in the boiler. Air atomizers can commonly use the steam and not available for the small boiler, generally generating less than 20,000 pounds of steam per hour before firing more easily atomized oil, such as number two and number four grades. Air atomizer often use the cold to start up build of, the, of, of a boiler. They re replace the steam units as the plant pr pressure builds up. The both steam and air atomizers are effectively used with a good porting control of the combustion air mixing automatic controlling of firing rate and possible of over a range of 15 to 100 percent of capacity. Pressurizing, pressure atomizer. Pressure atomizer use the measure of 600 pounds VSI or more than accelerating oil into the furnace through the atomizer tip. The oil spun inside the tip leaves the, a cone of oil that within the thin hours of the break outport with the fine droplets of combustion. The advantage of the pressure atomizer is the simplest for the system. The disadvantage of the high pressure required for the fact that it turned down the range of 75 to 100% of the capacity. Effective atomization to be obtained with the title by the atomizer to sand with the oil of the costly small patch of the atomizer tip and intend with the clog where pressure atomizers are not frequently used for the modern central plant heating plants rotary atomizers rotary atomizers are used in energy for the spinning with a cup of the primary air from the small fan reference to figures 242 the thin cone coil thin cone of oil spun off the end of the cup but they were added on primary air but then out the brakes of the part of the fin drop of the rotary airs can be Fairly effective with the combined with the burners used in force draft, the natural draft or rotary atomizer burners that developed in 1930 do not compare favorably with the modern force draft burners. Generally, rotary atomizers do not have any significant disadvantage over the fluid pressure type. They have disadvantages of liquid capacity, electrical horsepower requirements of the driven rotary cup, the primary air fan that generally become uneconomically, uneconomically boiler capacity is about 20,000 pounds of steam per hour. They are sold a million modern burners, figure 242 atomizer. 42. Rotary atomizer. Type of the burners. Once the oil is effectively atomized, the next type is effectively mixed with the combustion of the air with the three types of the general type of the burners available. The register, low excess of the package burners. All these burners that incorporate the igniter automatic light, uh, light, light off and the provisions of the mount. The flame scanner is provided igniter of the main flame. The effectiveness of the burners is measured by the ability of the combustion of the field minimum with the excess of air throughout the firing. Which excess of air levels are at 175, 50, and 25% load shall be determined when... All right, this shows the um, figure 241 steam atomizers, oil inlet steam, air or air inlet slip joint steam on the air air tube fuel bowl, fuel barrel. Um, we rapid regulating rod sealing surface spray, um, spray plate and spray header. All right, this is a rotary atomizer.
You have your atomizing cup, angular vane, nose, furnace, hinge plate mounting, fan, totally enclosed motor, air cooled motor jet, rear bearing, warm gear, um, primary air damper, front bearing, stationary fuel tube, rotationally hollow main shaft. Alright, um, register, register burners. Um, register burners are characterized by one of the circular regulatory with made with combustion and air and into the burner throughout the illustrated figure 243. Impla Heller is provided with the protect the atomizer from the direct blast of the combustion air, provided with the zone with the stabilized ignition of the refractory. Throw helps to control airflow velocity, hot refractory re helps to stabilize ignition reduction, heat back into the base of the flame, adjusting the air registrator with either, in either initial on continuous basis. Load spring with the help to ensure the optimum air velocity available for the combustion process. The registered burners may be used with the ambient preheated oil, air, oil, atomizer, gas burning equipment, and capacity from 10 to 200 million BTUs are common. Loss, loss of excess air burners. Loss of excess air, air burners or LEA burners are shown with the figure 244 of the developed. They achieve the lower excess of air level throughout the burner load range. The, the possible registered learner burners ventry section excess of the uniform airflow of the burner outlet. The impeller is used to swirl the Swirl a portion of the air into the atomized oil. Uh, remainder of the air moves axially through the burner. The very velocity designed to cause the mix later. With the fuel impeller swirl there, the advantage of the LEA burner's ability to operate loss of excess of air levels and subsequent improvements in efficiency. The main disadvantage is the long, narrow flame, with which is not as suitable with the main furnace configuration. Very accurate combustion controls are needed to take advantage of the burner's low excessive um, capability. Package burners. Package burners include the force draft of the fan, air to control the damper, the oil and gas control valve, the actuator, igniter, the flame safety system. Combustion controls are shop unit, um, assemble the unit. Figure 245 illustrates the air atomizing oil, gas fired package burning cost, performance, and capability. Package burners very wide, very, very widely. Not all packages suitable for every application. After the e every burner application requires careful consideration to ensure the proper per burner controls, accessories are applied. Package burners should be uh, capable of automatic startup and shutdown, a modulating fire rate. The Packaging burners are available for fire rating. Um, package burners are available um, for fire ratings and several gallons of several hundred gallons per hour. Either registering low access the type of burners must be supplied with the package. Rotary pressure and fluid atomizer may be used. All right, 22 oil standard handling, storage handling. Above the ground, underground, full storage um, tanks are available in illustrated figure 24 and 26. Um, tanks are provided with some of the oil flowing in the auxiliary equipment and connection field, the return the sludge, pump out low suction, high suction, steam smothering, firefighting connection, gauge connection, suction box, suction or tank heater, steam connection level, the indicator temperature, indicator access manholes, ladders, piping valve, the amount of the storage capacity and so forth depends on the main mission basis, availability of the dependability, supply of the frequency, Delivery storage tank, the oil burner equipment must be installed in accordance with an NFPA 300. Sorry, NFPA 30 flammable combustible liquids code, NFPA 31 standard of insulation, insulation of oil burning equipment. Fuel oil preparation number two and number four um, oil normally are only require a pump of the um, set transfer oil from the storage to the burner. The preparation base of number four oil may also require a small amount of heating. Though use the day of the tank's transfer pump at the main nest or the main storage are located remotely from the plant. Number five and six oil require pumping and heating the equipment and to repair the move of the oil and combustion equipment. The figure twenty four seven to uh, sorry two forty seven illustrate the duplex on pumping the heating set uh, a pressure regulatory valve with the provided with the return heat unneeded oil source on day tank with the before is heated. The avoided overhead, the avoiding overheating of the storage tank in addition with the maintaining the desert oil pressure insulating oil steam condensation lines is required electrical steam heating of the tracing lines may be required in some applications. Safety and, and equipment. The Na National Fire Protection Agency established requirements of safety boiler um, operations with boilers with 10,000 pounds of steam per hour larger than the requirements are contained with the NFPA 85A standard prevention of the furnace explosion of fuel, oil, natural gas, fire, single burner, burners, fur furnaces. Figure 248 and 249 schematic arrangement the safety equipment for the oiler, oil fired water tube, wire tube, boilers, respectively. Standard oil fired multiple burner boilers are found in NFPA 85D. The boilers rated less than 10,000 pounds of steam boiler. Power underwriting, underwriters laboratories incorporated with the underwriters laboratory in Canada, other in, in nationally recognized organizations establishing safety requirements, testing, and approve the uh, safety requirement. 
Pick a 223 gas fire and equipment. Natural gas is easy to clean and the burn requires a little less equipment and maintenance than the coal and oil system disadvantage include. Higher than the cost of the coal, the uncertain limited availability, grain, and greater danger of explosion. 14C, 19, and 19A describe the potential explosion, some of the necessary precautions for early gas fire equipment, usually gas velocity, air, 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 aspirated air into the burner throat, in which is premixed with the gas. All right, this is a register. Uh, wait a second. Not responding. All right, this is your register burner. Figure 243. 244, low axis area burner, air burner. Figure 245 is the arrangement above the ground fuel oil tank. You have a drainage ditch, a three foot and three foot wide gravel gravel line, a paved berm, a dike. The cubic capacity of the reserve, the main maximum level to be one and one half times the capacity of the tank. The fuel storage tank, the reserve, the drain pipe, the drain sump, the steps, four inches, four foot wide, derrick bottom tailpipe dike. Um, Show the dike reservoir, ring wall, forge tank, paved berm, sand bed. Pad grade one inch to four inch drain drainage ditch dike. All right, this is your underground fuel oil storage tank. Um, a fill line vacuum vent of one and a quarter inch minimum. Scavenging line pipe connection for the portable sludge pumps. The seam smoothing line. Level detector measuring wall manhole. Lower suction line. Upper suction line. Um, return line, suction line, thermostatic control valve, steam heater, and the trap, sewer, attach heater until the manhole and ease with the removal of repair, and also a heating coil, three quarter, three to four turns of one and a quarter inch excessive heavy seamless steel pipe on one and a quarter inch centers of 16 inch of, of, of diameter. All right, this is a figure for 247 fuel oil pumping heating equipment. Um, Circuit um, valves. It shows the valves. It goes straight into the duplex duplex center um, duplex suction through the chemical seal um, T, and then uh, all right. This is your oil firing. Um, only typical schematic arrangement. Safety equipment to fuel oil and water to boiler on one and one burner. Uh, Automatic recycling, automatic non-recycling controls. Um, your alternating gas oil firing, typical schematic arrangement, safety equipment, gas oil fire to fire two boiler with one or more burners, automatic recycling control. All right, before burning, pure mix burners that are now used the igniter service. service um, Igniter service, igniter service, the advent, advent of the forced draft of the fans need the increased burner capacity brought for the development of the nozzle mix gas, gas burners, nozzle mix air bur burners be capable of handling gas with a wide range pressure depending on the design type of the nozzle mix burners, including the ring gun, multiple sc spud. Figure 243 illustrates registrator burner that will equip with the gas spuds not, and oil atomizer. Figure 244 illustrates uh, low excessive air burner equipped with the gas ring and FPA 85A standard provision preventive of the furnace explosion fuel oil and natural gas fire and single burner boilers furnaces establish requirements of safety operation gas fired boilers figure 249 250 show the exact schematic arrangement of safety equipment over the gas fired tube the water tube with the boilers international gas fired multiple burner bar, burn boilers are found in NFP 85b for however the burner uh, boilers rated less than 10% of the same pipe per hour. The standard with the unwritten laboratories incorporated the underwriter laboratories in Canada, other initial nationally recognized organization. 224 liquefied petroleum gas. Liquefied petroleum gas is used in igni igniter service with occasionally standby fuel with natural gas, oil fired insulation. Liquid petroleum gas is a combination of propane, butane, maintained liquid state with the storage uh, under pressure. The NFPA standard of FD58 and 54 part of 2. Establish requirements of storage land, handling of liquid petroleum gas. For the further information, liquid petroleum gas, refer to Air Force Manual Number 8512. Section 4, Controls and Instruments.